Always good to uh, get that first game under your belt. I, I thought we did some some really positive things in the first half to be able to hold them to, to 16 points in the first half. And, and they have they have a really nice team. Uh, Rick Reeves is an excellent coach. He just won his 500th career game last week. So I want to congratulate him. I know they're going to have an extremely good season. Um, but thought we played well in the first half. Uh, did not like how we finished the game in the third and fourth quarters. But uh, some positives were we obviously shot the three ball well. Um, what, f 14 of 30 from, uh, from three? 47 percent, so shot the three ball extremely well. Um, I thought started with Jordan Brock right here. Um, she picked up where she left off last year, and so that's always good. When she's shooting the basketball like she shot it tonight, it, it lifts our team up. But I think she's doing a lot of other really, really good things right now on both ends of the floor, which I'm really, really proud of. Um, but a lot of work to do, a lot of work to do rebounding, taking care of the basketball. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's October, so we got a long way to go and a lot of work to do. But, um, but we've, this team has a lot of potential, and we will get there. Question. Um, exhibitions, obviously, aren't you trying to see about to be in a big state, see what's wrong, good or bad, and everything. What do you want to come out of tonight with? I need to find out about A, or I need to know about B, or what are the things you wanted to pick up from tonight? Well, obviously, you we would have loved to. I would have loved to have seen us take care of the basketball a lot better. Uh, you know, and, and we we uh, we shared the ball well, but we had too many just careless turnovers, and that was one of the things last year that we improved upon so much from year two was taking care of the basketball. Uh, we only averaged 14 turnovers last year, and so I do not like where we were with the basketball tonight, how we handled the ball, uh, how loose we were with it. A lot of those turnovers were unforced. Um, that, you know, that's an area we've got to improve on. The other area that I wanted to, to, to see us improve on was the rebounding area. Um, and while, you know, I, I thought at halftime we had uh, really done well on the offensive boards. I think we had nine offensive boards at halftime. We had still given up too many offensive rebounds. Now, now at the same time, they got two six three kids um, that that could play on on a lot of rosters, um, and so it was a great test for us. But I did not think we handled that real well in the second half. So you know, those are two areas that we've got to come out and really improve on uh, moving from this this game to our opener next Tuesday night. Tell me about the play of your newcomers. I thought Owens and Gunn played extremely well. Others too. The strength of those two. Tell me about the transition from high school to college ball. The yeah. first time in front of the crowd and in college ball, they seem to play well. Yeah, I, I thought they did some really good things. Malia, Malia obviously adds another dimension along with Jada as far as shooting, shooting the basketball. And I think once she starts to understand and stay within our principles defensively, she's going to be a really good defender. We just, we just need her to, to kind of clean that up and not reach as much. She was, she was a, a very good defender in high school and able to get a lot of steals. And at this level, you can't reach quite as much because if you don't get it, those kids are going to go by you. And so she's still learning and growing there. I, I thought Jada did some really nice things. I think she had seven assists and, and eight, eight rebounds. Um, she's a big, strong guard. Um, Got to take care of the basketball a little better, but you expect that, you know, first game with a freshman. So a lot of positives with those two. But that is how Jada and Malia have been practicing. They have not looked like freshmen in practice. And I, and I thought at times tonight they did not look like freshmen tonight. So um, I, I think they just got to take tonight. Uh, we'll, we'll get back in with them film-wise and, and, and clean things up. But, um, but they did some really good things tonight for the first time for their first outing in a Tennessee Tech uniform. How about your veterans? So you got a big group coming back. I mean, these girls have now been with you for a long time. The leadership role that you're asking for, for this crew to do, even though it's just an exhibition, how do you think that they can go to well, I, I, I like their cohesiveness. I like their togetherness. I like that they can make adjustments out on the court. Um, you know, that, that's, a, that's a really big step. We can talk about something in a huddle and then they can go out and execute it without having worked on it in practice. Um, I was really pleased. I thought Mackenzie Coleman in the first half did some really nice things. Um, their, their, their post players is 
both of their post players are really tough to guard because of their size and their athleticism off the dribble. And so especially with uh, Nacia Wilkinson out tonight, um, we're resting her going into um, into the uh, season opener. Um, I, McKenzie had to play a lot of minutes in the first half because Taylor also got in foul trouble. And I thought Kenzie did, did a really nice job and played extremely smart. So uh, I thought there were some good things um, in the first half. They didn't play a ton of minutes uh, in the second half, but, but I liked a lot of things they did in the first half. Jordan, you've been here a long time now. You're, you're a veteran. A lot of you have been you coach. want you to lead the team. What are you seeing from your team? You have a mix of young people. I think we're, as veterans, I think we've handled it very well because we've all been here for three or four years. So we know the culture, we know how the team is supposed to run. So it's easier to just be able to go and practice and kind of coach those younger ones. And so that's what coach was wanting us to do is be a player led team. And I think we've shown a good example of that. I saw you actually talk to Liam a little bit about directing on the court. Mm -hmm. Are you comfortable with that kind of leadership role where you kind of talk to the young ones? Oh yeah, the young ones that or the newbies, like they take everything so well and they're always eager to learn and ask questions and like you couldn't ask for more for that. Coach, you got a few days now before the over. And I know no coach is ever ready, but what do you have to do to be ready? <laughs> uh, we we got a lot we got a lot to work on. I mean, I'm just I'm just sitting here. Uh, I, I think probably the thing that that really just stands out to me the most, um, and that really bothers me the most on this stat sheet, are the turnovers and the and then the free throw. First of all, the free throw attempts. You know, we we were. Um, we, we were ranked really high in the nation last year as far as getting to the free throw line, how many free throws we attempted last year. Uh, we only got to the, to the free throw line 10 times tonight, and then we didn't convert when we got there. Uh, we were, I think we were eighth last year in the nation in free throw percentage. Uh, I think we shot 78% from the free throw line, and we were five of 10 from the free throw line tonight. So um, there, there, there are a lot of things that, that we need to do better to be ready for our opener on Tuesday. But that's why you play these games, is to get ready. You know, I know our team is, um, while they've been working extremely hard in practice, uh, there's on, only so much you can um, do when you're going against yourselves. You need to, to go against an opponent that doesn't know your plays, that doesn't know what you're about to do, and uh, just to really get a, a feed on where, where you need to grow. And, the, you know, the, the biggest, biggest three areas right now are, are, are turnovers, um, rebounding and um, and at the free throw line we need to get to the free throw line more and then we need to convert when we get there but we will um, those are all things that that I think we're very capable of, of fixing and uh, and being better at and I, I think you'll see you'll see growth in that the next time we hit the court.